Lyme Regis is a small coastal town on the south coast of England. It lies on the western edge of the Dorset coast and forms part of the wider Jurassic coast, a world heritage site famous for its fossils and coastal landform. The town is popular with tourists in the summer, and in this video we'll be looking at the importance of the geology in the causes of coastal erosion at Lyme Regis, as well as what's been done to stop the landslides that are affecting the people and this beautiful town. The coast at Lyme Regis experiences significant rates of erosion. Much of the town was constructed on unstable cliffs, which experienced some of the highest erosion rates in Europe due to high energy waves from the southwest. A long fetch and its geology contributed to this fast rate of erosion. The geology of Lyme Regis is a mixture of limestone, resistant to erosion, and clay, vulnerable to erosion. The clay lies on limestone, so as the clay erodes, the cliffs are vulnerable to landslides. Therefore, houses, roads and farmland, as well as the beach itself, are at risk of cliff landslides. In addition, tourist numbers were down due to the lack of beaches caused by erosion. The local government developed a plan to manage the coastline at Lyme Regis, called the Lyme Regis Environmental Improvement Scheme. During the planning process, the local government consulted with different interest groups, including residents, fishermen and environmentalists, to try and reduce conflicts between different groups of people. Several strategies have been used to protect different parts of Lyme Regis from coastal erosion. We'll explore these now. They took place over the course of five phases, which are identified in this graphic. The majority of the coastal management that has taken place in Lyme Regis is focused around the old harbour complex between the Cobb and Church Cliff. Whilst Phase 4 at East Cliff was completed with some success, Phase 3 at Monmouth Beach and Ware Cliffs was never pursued. This was because the land was deemed to be low value, protecting nothing behind it and not offering value for money given the millions of pounds that would be spent on replacing its coastal management. 1995 saw the replacement of the failing seawall with a new seawall and rock armour. Where the beaches were getting narrower and the seawall was in danger of being breached, with landslides expected, phase two was completed to plant the slope where there was a threat of landslip, install a new extended seawall, new rock armour and masonry jetties and widen the beach with beach replenishment. This phase was completed in March 2007 at a cost of £26 million. Beyond the town centre, at East Cliff, there was a risk of serious landslides if nothing was done. The existing seawall was in danger of being breached, and the groins were in such disrepair they were a danger to the public. Work here secured 390 metres of coastline for the next 50 years. 480 homes were saved, and underground pipes and cables were protected. Overall, the scheme to the east of Lyme Regis cost approximately £19 million, improving the foreshore, lower coastal slopes and providing local amenities on the middle slopes. The scheme is deemed to be successful, striking a balance between environmental and ecological effects, as well as being socially and economically beneficial. Phase 5 is the most recent improvement to coastal defences in Lyme Regis, and involves a simple rock armour extension to protect the cob, the harbour wall. This serves to reduce the power of incoming waves, protecting the widened shingle beach, which further absorbs wave energy. It also serves to reduce the swell and waves going into the harbour, making it more amenable for boating and fishing activities. It can probably be fairly easily argued that overall these improvements in Lyme Regis have proven to be a success. Not only has it been beneficial in securing the future of an historical and important town on England's south coast, it's also considered the amenity provided to visitors to the town, keeping its tourism economy booming and allowing visitors to enjoy the beach and what the Old Harbour area has to offer. So I really hope you found this video useful in preparing you for your GCSE Geography exams this year. Uh, if you have found it useful, please hit the like button below. And if you've not already subscribed, then please consider doing so. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for some more GCSE Geography work.